We have three distinct genres of music, pretty much. Classical music, popular music, and jazz. And Richard has worked in all three. There are about five different idioms in which a person can function in music. Live music in concert situations, recording, working in film music, working in television music, and touring. And again, Richard has functioned in all five of those. That's pretty amazing. Many people work in one, some people two, but nobody much does all that Richard has accomplished in the industry. Alumnus Richard Kaufman is an internationally renowned conductor, accomplished violinist, and respected studio music director. Richard's parents encouraged his interest in music from an early age, presenting their seven-year-old with a violin and arranging for lessons. He continued to study music at San Fernando Valley State College, and in his junior year he composed Hail to the Matadors, which went on to become the alma mater of California State University Northridge. CSUN has always been a part of my dad's life. As soon as I knew what college was, he was telling me stories about CSUN and we would drive by and he would say, oh, over here, you know, this used to just be orchards and now it's all built up and the school's growing. And he always had a really great connection and a great sense of pride about where he went to school. After leaving campus, Richard served as music director and later as conductor for numerous stage productions and musicals. In the 1970s, he played violin on television and film scores. In 1984, he joined the music department of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Studios. For the next 18 years, he supervised music for MGM film and television projects, receiving two Emmy nominations for his work. At one time in his career, Richard actually coached actors how to look like they were playing instruments in films. And at one particular time was on The Witches of Eastwick with Jack Nicholson and Susan Sarandon. So it comes time for shooting, the scene with the piano, he suddenly says, Richard, come here. He says, you know, do you, you, know, you know how to play that thing, whatever it was that they were playing. And Richard says, well, yes. And he says, well, I, I, why don't you, you know, play it instead? And Richard said, well, but Jack, you know, you know it. You know, we've been playing. No, no, you do it. And so long story short, they shaved, Richard has lots of red hair on his arms. He shaved his arms up to here, and he proceeded to play. <laughs> <laughs> the part. So the hands you see in that scene are Richard's playing. That's right now. For over 20 years, Richard has been the principal pops conductor of Orange County's Pacific Symphony. He is currently in his seventh season with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, and he holds the permanent title of pops conductor laureate with the Dallas Symphony. In addition, Richard regularly appears as a guest conductor with symphony orchestras throughout North America. For many years, uh, Richard was the uh, conductor of the Dallas Pops. One particular Halloween, they honored him, and everybody in the orchestra wore Halloween outfits and so on. The Dallas Mavericks also got involved, the pro basketball team in Dallas, and they gave Richard a uniform, shorts, tennis shoes, the whole thing, and he walked out to the giggles of the audience, and he turned and said to them, we're here to play. Internationally, he is conducted or recorded with the London Symphony Orchestra, Berlin's Brandenburg Philharmonic, the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra, and the Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra, to name a few. He'll call and I say, okay, what airport are you in right now? And he'll say Kuala Lumpur or something, you know. In 1993, he received a Grammy Award for Best Pop Instrumental Performance for a recording he conducted with the Nuremberg Symphony. Richard's daughter, Whitney Claire Kaufman, followed her father's footsteps into the entertainment industry, becoming a professional singer and voiceover artist for film and television. When he's conducting and I'm singing, it is a professional relationship. He'll give me notes and I'll ask questions and I'll say what I need and he says what he needs and it's very collaborative as it would be with anyone else. But then there are those moments, especially during the performance, where we'll just have a moment where he'll be conducting and he'll just kind of look at me and like wink, and I'll, you know, wink back from the microphone. Richard and his wife, Gail, live in Encino, allowing Richard to remain close to his alma mater. You are forever part of California State University Northridge, and California State University Northridge is forever part of you. Daddy, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you receive this amazing award, but thanks to you, 
I am working and performing this weekend in Greensboro, so I send you lots of love. I know that you are a very humble man, and it's very hard for you to believe that people honor you, but you deserve to be honored. You certainly deserve it. You've worked bloody hard, I know, because I've known you a long time. Congratulations on a well-deserved award, Richard.